Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's talk about how to get help when something goes wrong with your Mac or iOS device. So in a perfect world, nothing would ever go wrong with your Apple products. But things do break and problems do happen. So where to go for help? While we try to make MacMost a great place to find out how to do things with your Mac, it's more of a how-to site than a fix-it site. So here are some steps on how to go and get help if something goes wrong. So if you still have access to the internet on your Mac or you can use another computer, one of the first things you may want to do is search the internet for the problem. So for instance, you would just do a plain Google search for a very descriptive term and see what comes up. And you may find other people that have solved the problem, other people that are dealing with the problem, or people that have come up with various solutions and what works and what doesn't. Now to narrow that search down even more, you may want to go to the mothership, go to Apple's site, but not just any part of it. Go to the discussions part, discussions.apple.com. And once you go into there, you'll find the Apple support communities. And from there you can dig down to various topics like specific to your device and jump into it and see what people are talking about and then also use the search field here to search and see what people are saying. Apple employees don't really come here to this discussion forum. It's for users. But you may find other users that have experienced the problem and have suggestions for fixing it or at least for the next step. Now one of the important things I want to convey here is that there really is no substitute for first and help. Having somebody actually there with you looking at your Mac is far superior to actually being able to email or post messages to forums. There's so many things to look at. You can go back and forth dozens of times and still not give the person trying to help you enough information for them to actually find out the problem. Think of it like with your car or with your health. You wouldn't expect if your car broke down or if you were sick to be able to call a mechanic or a doctor on the phone, explain a few things to them and then say, I know what it is. So you take your car in to a mechanic to have them look at it or you go to your doctor to get an exam. Same thing with your Mac. It's a computer. It's every bit as complicated as a car and you need to have somebody looking at it sometimes to really figure out what the problem is and give you suggestions. Now one of the places you can go for that is the Genius Bar. If you happen to live close enough to an Apple store, you can walk into the Apple store and go to the Genius Bar. Best thing to do is go to the website first and make a reservation. Now it's important to note you can go there with any Apple product. It doesn't have to be under Apple Care. You didn't have to have purchased it in the Apple store. You can make an appointment, walk in with your Apple product and simply ask a question. If the machine needs repairs, then they may tell you what your options are. But the first thing they'll try to do is listen to you and try to give you some advice and that doesn't cost anything. Now if you're not near an Apple store, you may have to just call Apple. Now you can go to this URL here and find out a phone number to give Apple a call. Phone numbers of course are going to vary depending upon which part of the world you're in. And of course it's also important to realize that getting a Mac repaired is not always going to be free. Now if you've got that first year warranty or you've extended Apple Care, it may be covered. Of course if you damage it yourself, say by dropping your iPhone into water or something, you may have to pay for that. And for older Macs you may have to pay for things as well. It's just like taking a car into a mechanic. Some things may be covered by warranty and other things you're going to have to pay for depending upon the age of the car and the type of warranty you've got. Now if your device isn't broken but there's still a problem then there's no substitute for a first hand look. The Apple Genius Bar is a great place to go but another great place to go is a local user group. There are Mac and Apple user groups all over the world. Matter of fact you can go to Apple's site right here at apple.com slash user groups and you can search for a local user group in your area. Another great place to go is to just look online and do a Google search and see what's in your area. Not every single user group may be listed here. So a user group is great because there may be users there with more experience than you and they may be able to look at your problem and solve it for you. They probably meet locally and probably have some sort of online presence as well. And if there's a problem that nobody could solve, at least you can work together as a group to find a solution. And it's great to join these groups and belong to them before you have a problem so you get to know some people in your community and be a part of that group. So when you have a problem, they're there. Now if your Mac is broken and you need to take it in somewhere for a repair, uh, Apple stores are one option. Another option is to take it to an authorized service provider. Apple has a list of them right here at this address and you can go in and search according to your area to try to find a local authorized uh, 
shop or you could also just search Google for one as well. And remember another option is a non-authorized shop. A lot of computer shops will uh, work on Macs and may not have taken the time to actually enroll in this authorized program. So there's some suggestions on things you can do when you have a problem with your Apple device. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.